Today we will discuss uh, some important basics of EDAP software for calculation of different types of beam. EDAP compared to other software uh, gives you efficient results, shows everything you want and is quite modern to use as well. We will see three different types of beam today for analysis purpose. This is the three different types of beam. Ignore my drawing skills please. So in this video it is that is a fixed support beam, fixed continuous beam. Other uh, is the simply supported beam and the third one is the cantilever beam with different types of loading patterns and again the distance are being given as well. So please don't skip this video and just uh, stay tuned for an amazing content which is uh, which with some extent uh, might be helpful in different ways. So just uh, to state the obvious now let's go to software. So here we are in this ETEPS 2016 software. First of all, you have to go to file. Go to file, go to new model. Use built in settings with. Choose this type of setting that I have done here. Please take your screenshot and do this. Go ahead. Now the first beam is been shown to you now. This is the first beam. So what we will do here now is use this uh, grid lines in x direction. So what are the numbers of grid lines in x direction are that are that is four. Now number of grid line in y direction is one. Only one dimensional beam we are drawing, not a 3D structure. So spacing of grids in x direction. What are the spacing if grids in x direction and y direction you have to enter in this particular column. But we will use this setting custom grid safe spacing and use edit grid data. Choose this display grid data as spacing and just change this spacing. The first will be 2.5. The third will be second will be 6. The third will be 2.5. So click OK. Number of stories. We don't have stories. You can enter zero, but it will show error. So what we'll do is write just one story here. Uh, keep this data as, as it is. Select grid only. Click OK. Wait for this windows to open. Now in this ETAP software, you can see that there are two windows. There are two windows. One show, uh, shows the plan view and other shows the 3D view. This is the 3D view of the structure and this is the plan view. So for the first basic steps of starting uh, any software is to define the material we are using. So go to define, go to material properties, add new material. Select region India, material type concrete. Great for the beams are M20 standard indian okay now choose this setting as it is as it is check this data that is m20 okay again add new material click steel here initially go for 345 then change this uh, as 415 fe415 change this data to fe415 newton prime m square that is mega pascal okay so the two materials are been added click ok so now what we will do here is now we will define this uh, the section properties means the dimension of what uh, the beam is so go to section properties frame section add new property what is the beam uh, shape that is rectangular section so rename this name as beam and we were assuming 0.23 x 0.30 beam. So this is the size of the beam we want to discuss. Uh, change this material to M20 grid, concrete grid. Depth of the beam is 300 and width of the beam is 230. Modify show rebar. Now in this data you have to change some data. Now if you design M3 design only for beam, the longitudinal bars uh, we have to choose for FE415. We will choose FE415 in the both sides in ties and longitudinal bar. The beam cover should be 25 
in bottom and top both dimension click ok now the beam data has been decided click ok so ok so now the beam uh, definition has been uh, defined now we have to assign this dimension that are been created to this particular beam so what we will do is now go to this go to this elevation view select one apply ok so now we are at the elevation you can see the 3d object we are in the elevation so what we will do is assign this base this is the beam uh, we are going to assign so we have to assign this first of all we will use this set grid system visibility so the visibility is off here what we will do now is choose this quick draw beams panel select this now change this property to the uh, property we have made that is beam 0 0.23 into 30 now we have chosen this so now just draw this thing to the entire beam and release it so now you can see this beam has been defined and assigned to this structure so what we will do now here is left click on this right click on this and set grid visibility now this beam has been only shown here do this also so now you can use this uh, extruded view toggle mode to see this beam in 3d view in three dimensional way you can off this whenever you want to off it now the uh, beam has been defined as thickness uh, and depth so now what we will do is give the supports so what are the what were the supports that uh, we want to give that there are two fixed supports at the end so what we will do is select this support and press control and select also these supports so what we will do now assign go to assign here go to load uh, joints go to restraints now there are number of supports here given this is the fixed one this is the hinge one this is the roller one so what we'll do is go to here this and go to apply click ok so now these two supports are been fixed so the middle one middle supports were hinge so we will select this one again these two go to assign go to joints restraints click hinge apply ok so now the supports have been defined to this structure now what we will do here is to have been applied uh, in the figure as well so we will go to select the first pan go to assign go to uh, different types of load patterns here so we will select frame load go to distributed load what we will do is select this 0 0 just select this uniform load as 20 km per meter square that is been uh, given in the figure go to apply ok the first UDL of 20 km per meter square has been applied so now second span we have to go to apply two different types of point load so go to assign go to frame load now we will go to point load now at uh, 6 meter span so there is 2 2 meter uh, spacing between these two load so what will be the percentage value that is 0.33 here and 0.66 here so this will be first one is 20 kN and the second one is 15 kN click on apply click on ok so this is the loading pattern that has been divided here so go to third span uh, click assign go to frame loads now distributed loads now we have to apply here the trapezoidal load so first uh, the trapezoidal for a UVL load so the first one the value is 0 the last one the value is so by using uh, calculator we will calculate the UVL the, the last one is 15 kN per meter we uh, know it so the the first uh, the 0 0.25 and 0 0.75 value will be the 1 by 4 of 15 and the 3 by 4 of the 15 so calculating this value it comes 11.25 and this value will be 3.25 click on apply sorry we have to remove this load as well click on 0 click on apply sorry 
click on ok so the uv l has been applied so the all the load patterns have been applied here so now what we will do we have to analyze the structure and uh, show the analyze and design the structure as a fixed support beam go to analyze and check the model click ok so now the model has been checked the no warning message has been generated so what we'll do now we'll go to analyze again and run analysis so please rename your file i have to rename this as a continuous beam so please rename and save this file wherever you want to now the analysis will be carried out now the analysis has been carried down the displacement value has been uh, showed here here now what we will do is go to this this show check this displacement diagram here this is the most important thing you have to study and this uh, this is moment uh, 3 by 3 means in zz direction so click on apply so click on this also show value of controlling station diagram apply so this is a bending moment diagram in z direction click on 2 that is shear force diagram this is the shear force diagram of this now you can change this user defined as a change the scale as as well for a bigger scale to view this value you can do as well also so click on ok uh, go to option sorry view display undeformed shape okay now what we will do is uh, detail this structure and check for design of this reinforcement details so what we will do is go to design uh, check this concrete frame design for beams please check this value of rebar selection rules if you want to change anything from here you can change these things go to design again go to concrete frame design go to start design check it will design this structure and this is the values of AST of longitudinal uh, reinforcing area of steel given in different portion in different zones go to detailing uh, go to start detailing detailing will be uh, carried out so go to reinforcement uh, you can choose anything from here go to beam details this is the concrete beam rebar uh, table you can see the different types of bars uh, uh, numbers of bars and ASTO in different types of zone has been given in different types of length uh, stirrups are also been given in different types of zone so this is a complete you can carry out this report from your project report and also for summary report so this is the complete design of a uh, uh, continuous beam so let uh, let us again just go through again for the this another type of beam that is simply supported beam again we are at the starting of this template so what will you choose, uh, choose that is number of grid lines in x direction that is 3 this time because we are going for 2 spans uh, uh, cho uh, choose this as 1 we we'll use custom grid set spacing edit grid data display grid spacing data the first spacing would be for 4 meters and the second also for 4 meters so this is the spacing data click on ok number of stories would be 1 grid story ok so for the practice we will do in a quick record way this time also again for defined material properties add new material concrete and 20 ok okay steel okay if you fall on five if you fall on five in f5 and f u strength okay okay define this beam properties for frame section add new property 
select rectangular beam beam of this time we will choose 0.25 x.30 you can choose whatever you want as the uh, sum suggest here depth is 300 and width is 250 modify show rebar click beam choose this fe4 on 5 the longitudinal reinforcement details in confinement also the clear cover would be 25 okay okay choose this uh, elevation view in one direction apply okay go to quick draw beams choose this yes. now draw this beams select release cancel set grid visibility in this direction also select this and this as now as hinge so assign joint restrain select as hinge apply ok the center one is the rotation one joint restrain apply sorry okay so this is the beam has been assigned now what we'll do is uh, select this pan go to loading assign the loads are being set here go to frame load point point load at the center so what we'll do is we'll give this distance 0 0.5 so the load of the 17 kilonewton from kilonewton is applied of the point load now we will select this one go to assign again go to frame loads go to distributed load this time there is a UDL of I guess there is 15 again go to apply okay so now the simply supported beam has been designed now we'll go to analyze check model okay model has been checked no warning messages go to analyze go to run analysis now this is my simply supported beam of two spans you can check this uh, bending moment in 3 3 and uh, bending 3 or 4 this is the values even same as this simply supported beams course you can just design this concrete frame design and start design check and design this value and you can get this value as well go to detailing start detailing and you can just choose detailing processes and you can just see this section in different views as well so now I'll, let me show you quickly the cantilever beam there are two grid lines in x direction and one grid line in y direction uh, spacing is 6 meter this is the only one this is just one, one s yes it is grid only ok So this is the cantilever beam. What we will do is just uh, give this uh, fixed support to this tip. Uh, but what we will do is define this material again and again. So I have this, uh, defined this all the properties. What we will do is quick draw beams. Select this uh, property as 0.25 into. Go to elevation view. Go to 1. Apply. OK. This is the elevation view. Choose this. Select this. Cancel it in a. Uh, select this grid visibility off so uh, choose the first support and give uh, assign this one as fixed support apply ok and remove this uh, support here 
here this is a free support click on apply okay so now the port uh, support at the this end is been removed uh, what we will do is now this uh, give this uh, udl load which has been assigned here you go click on this uh, span as first uh, assign frame loads distributed loads the load has been as 25 kN per meter uh, click on apply ok so the uh, load has been applied now what we'll do analyze check the model ok go to analyze again run analysis this time it is cantilever beam save it wait for the analysis to be done go to this uh, moment show values click on apply so this is a pending moment diagram go to shear 2 to click on apply this is a shear force diagram close it uh, display undeformed shape go to again design concrete frame design check this thing if you want to this is the AST given detailing start detailing so this is the detailing report this is the beam details if you want to check please check it it is the report here the project report the summary report gives the complete definition of what you have designed so this is just a basics of etabs uh, if you want uh, to go with this more you can explore the software as much as you want also i have made a video on etabs uh, software for g plus 3 building please check it out uh, we'll be meeting in the next one thank you